Hi, Prince William County students. In this video, I'm going to give some helpful tips and tricks to using your Prince William County laptop. In particular, I'm going to talk about the 11 inch touchscreen model. So let's go. So when you get to laptop and you've signed in with your username and password, the first thing you should do is change the default browser from Edge to Chrome. So in the search bar, you're going to type in apps. You'll choose default apps. You'll scroll down and you'll see web browser. You'll switch from the Edge to Chrome. Click X and it's saved. Using Chrome instead of Edge will allow you to be able to use a lot of your Office 365 or Google Drive or Flipgrid or other types of Canvas Studio or other kinds of assignments inside of Canvas. The second thing you need to make sure you have done and done correctly is your Zoom authentication. So we're going to double tap on the Zoom app. When we double tap on the Zoom app, we're going to see sign in. We're going to not sign in with our email. We're going to sign in with the SSO, the key. It'll have the company domain, pwcs-zm-edu. When I click continue, Google Chrome will open up and I'll sign in to my school email. It'll ask me if I want to stay signed in and I'll say yes. And then it'll prompt to open up Zoom. I'll know I'm connected, my Zoom is authenticated. If I go here and I see my name, the other thing while we're in Zoom, I want you to check for updates. There's a lot of new features inside of Zoom, such as multi-pinning or multi-spotlighting or being able to shuffle around the people in the gallery view. But when you click check for updates, it'll sit here and it will go ahead and it'll download that update. So we'll wait. When that update is finally finished, you'll be able to click update. Zoom will close out and then you'll be able to update the Zoom application. If prompted, you're going to click OK and it'll close out. And when it's all finished, Zoom is fully updated and you can check by clicking on your icon up here, clicking check for updates and seeing that you are up to date. So now that your Zoom is set up, let's go to your Chrome. So inside of Chrome, we can go to pwcs.canvas.pwcs.edu. From there, because we've already signed into our email, we're signed into our Canvas. One of the things that a lot of students are having trouble with is their Office 365 or their Flipgrid or Studio is not loading properly. So we want to make sure that cookies is allowed. So we go over to the three dots in Chrome. We go down to settings. We click on privacy and security. We click on cookies and we make sure that we're allowing cookies. Once you've made that change, Canvas and Studio and 365 or Google Drive or Flipgrid or whatever your teacher has assigned will work properly inside of Google Chrome. This is the reason why we recommend using Google Chrome over Safari or Edge, because Safari or Edge by default will block all those cookies and make it more difficult for you to turn them back on. Let's say you forgot your password. The best way that you can reset your password yourself is just by going to password.pwcsbackpack.com. From here, it will ask you for your username, your st student ID, and your birthday. And then you can pick a new password. 
Next up, let's talk about the audio. A lot of times when we're inside of our Zoom meetings, our audio suddenly stops working. This we believe is due to the microphone hearing itself inside of the speaker. The best way to re-enable audio is to grab a set of headphones and plug them in here on the side. When you've plugged in the headphones, you'll be able to click down on the speaker and see that headphones is enabled. Now the speaker should work for you. If it still does not work, we recommend that you hold down the power button for a solid minute and restart the computer. This should reset the audio drivers and allow the audio to work properly again. If it still doesn't work after holding down the power button for a minute and restarting the computer, reach out to your school about getting a swap out laptop. Another common uh, problem that students report is that their webcam isn't working. On the 11 inch laptop computers, there is a little shutter at the very top of the screen. In fact, you wouldn't notice it if I didn't point it out to you right now. So if you take your thumb and rub it across the very top of the laptop, right where the above the webcam, you'll feel this little notch and you can move it to the left and right and turn on your webcam. So for example, if I turn on zoom and test out my video settings, my webcam is black. So if you've experienced that, it's because the privacy shutter is on. So you can toggle it to the left, to the right, and now your webcam will work again. To see that in another example, here we go. Back in here, when you're in the audio, a lot of us are using Bluetooth headphones. So you have the ability inside of your computer to go and add a Bluetooth device. So you can add your own Bluetooth headphones and that works a lot better when you're listening to your Zoom calls, it makes you sound better. The last thing we wanna talk about is your computer running slow. These laptops, although it's nice to have the touch screen, are limited in their ability. So think of in the terms of I should not have more than four tabs open at one time. Once you get past that fourth tab, you're going to notice your audio starts to glitch and your video starts to glitch and the computer starts to run really slow. So try to keep it at four tabs or less. Lastly, if your teacher asks you to use software and that software is not updated on your computer, you can visit any Prince William County parking lot and down here search for Software Center. That Software Center allows you to update any of the software like Chrome or Geometrix or some other software that you might be using. Once you're here, you can click on the software you need and install it. So that's some quick tips on how you can update and use your Prince William County School laptop. Thanks for watching.